In this video, I will show you how to mount the EFI partition on a Mac and then I will show you how to safely and correctly remove the open core legacy patcher bootloader from your system. Some people remove the entire EFI folder from their EFI partition, which is incorrect because this may break any other existing operating system. So please stick with me for the correct method. First we need to mount the EFI partition. To do this, open your terminal app. Next, we need to type two simple commands here. You can also copy and paste these commands from the video description. So I type the first command and hit the enter key. This command will list all the disks and their partitions attached to your Mac. Locate the partition labeled EFI and note its disk number. Now, Type the second command to mount the EFI partition. Type your admin password and hit the enter key. That's it. So with these two simple commands, we can mount the EFI partition on any Mac. Now to remove the open core bootloader, navigate to your EFI partition. And if you see a folder named system, remove it. If you are using a 5K iMac, you will also need to delete the boot.efi file from here. Next, go to the EFI folder and delete the OC folder as well. That's all. Please remember, do not remove any other folders as this may break other existing operating system such as Windows or Linux. So friends, this is how you safely remove the open core legacy patcher bootloader from your system. For more useful tips, Please subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next one.